Hello everyone, how are you doing? This YouTube video will be on GBB braiding, um, green bottle blue. I have my male in there with the female, so we will see what happens. Um, pretty early in the morning over here right now, probably around 3 o'clock in the morning. Got up and just figured I'd do some braiding that I'd catch up on. So, GBB male with my one of my females I have three GBB females, so I actually paired these guys up before, and um, he did get a quick insertion, so um, she might scare him away. We will just have to see, but these guys can take a really, really, really long time. Um, sometimes it could be an all-day thing, so um, I have the lid open in case this guy has to bail out. Um, which usually they do because the females tend to go at them um, pretty good. So with these, um, you just have to try to be there to to um, get the male out, but it is pretty hard. Um, sometimes you sometimes. You, the male really has to be able to stand his ground and just be able to get out of there enough to where um, he does a really good retreat and then you can stop her from really pouncing on him. But um, we will see how this goes here. Um, he's there on the web. Usually with these guys, um, he'll remain pretty still and she will as well until about two hours in or so. So I'm going to pause for now and just kind of watch these guys and I'll come back um, to this if there is um, some type of action. Alright everyone, so hopefully um, be back in a few and a few might be a few hours with these guys. So I will just keep watching them and see what happens. I'll be back in a few. Alright everyone, so here is... The GBB male, this is with the female that I had already paired him up with. So, I am going to get this guy out of here because she went at him right away. So, um, could be a positive thing. Could be that he already um, did the job. So, just want to make sure that he's out of there, out of the container. He's a little skittish right now. It seems like she scared him pretty good. So... He made it out of there alive. Um, she went for him, but he was able to get out. Right when I was about to start, um, as he started moving towards her, and I was about to start um, just um, shooting that, um, she went right at him pretty quick. So that was with the first female. Um, what I'll do, just continue this video, um, get this guy situated for a little bit, and I will bring another female to um, see what happens there. All right, everyone, we will be back in a few. All right, everyone, so here we are back again. GBB male in the opposite end of female number two's enclosure. So there is GBB female number two. And she's the only one that I haven't paired him up with. Um, I did pair him up with, another, with um, the third one. But um, she molted. So I will have to pair her up again. Um, she's about two weeks into her molt cycle. So I'll have to wait um, a few more weeks. Just get her fit and <clears throat> get her back up to, to be ready. So here he is, and this is the second female. And you can see some movement there. Okay, sorry about that. I accidentally um, hit the off button there. Um, but, well, she seems like she wants to come out.
so I'm not sure exactly what she's doing there. Um, he's still in there, so just kind of let her be for now and see if she goes back in. But we'll take this moment to look at her. She's pretty awesome. GBBs are really still my favorite tea in the hobby. They're just really, really cool. So yeah, I'd be interested to know if anyone has seen this before. Um, she's actually leaving a pretty heavy web trail there. Um, walking away from the enclosure. I'm not sure exactly what that is about. Oops, made some movement um, to try to get a closer look at her, and she was very quick to go right back in. Okay, well, I will pause for a second here to see if they do anything. Um, she went back into enclosure. I was trying to get a good shot of her and was just scooting back a little bit. And that seemed to have startled her a bit. And she went right back into to the enclosure on her side. So I will give this a view and see if anything happens. And then we will go from there. Alright everyone, be back in a few. Alright everyone, so female number two, um, nothing happened. Um, she was being real skittish and he was not advancing her at all. And finally when she got near him, um, he pretty much just bailed out. So I'm um, thinking she, she might be near Molt and that's basically what's going on. I do see some darkening in the back of her abdomen, so hopefully this um, close proximity with the male will get her to speed up the molt, and um, we'll have to try again. Um, for now, the next one that I pair him up with will probably be female number three, which um, molted a couple of weeks ago, so I have a few weeks to wait. Um, but that's pretty much it. Male build and um, no pairing on these guys for today. So, alright everyone. Um, sorry I couldn't get any action, but um, as always, thanks for watching.